sorry, my apologies, guys. I want to thank everyone for having this summit and letting me be miked. That's the big thing. Farmers are really in criti critical for being part of the conversation. And this session, and many of my fellow colleagues, actually do speak to very similar needs. At U.S. Farmers and Ranchers in Action, we work to inspire bold leadership in action. We've even changed our name to be that because we fundamentally believe that our farmers and ranchers derive action every single day from their lands. But we must work together across the value chain in the decade of action. There is a decade of agriculture that is truly needed. Let's talk about agriculture. Let's focus on the culture aspects of that word. Or maybe a way to think about it is that these are people-based solutions. Farmers and ranchers are the very people rooted in stewardship, and they work every single day to put those values to work, to create and forge a sustainable business model. It's not enough to have the aspirations of a goal. We have to put our values to work day in and day out on that business model. Many of our farmers are family-owned businesses. 36% now are women-owned farmers and even our indigenous communities and tribal nations are equally farmers and ranchers too, and often in the same watershed and as our neighbors. Our farmers are changing, and it's the next generation of our farmers who are being called into action. It is critical that our farmers and ranchers are seen at the table as leaders in their own right, that this is a people-based summit, and perhaps these people can offer solutions. We see three major needs of farmers, integration, innovation, and investment. For innovation, for integration, integrated livestock and cropping systems happen. We have to imagine these acreage and the sub-acreage as being hyper-specific and that this farmland is valuable. Even in the United States, we are losing 87 acres of farmland an hour. That farmland is currently sequestering 100 times more carbon than is emitted from the air and is cycling that carbon for us as our savings bank for the future. For innovation, we talk about baking cakes, but a farmer is not, is just like a chef. You do not give a chef a set recipe. You give them the ingredients, and you go set the table. For us, we must think about that cake. To bake a cake, the weather is changing. Our farmers, eight out of the last 10 harvest season, they are baking a cake right now and having to adapt to the climatic situations. It is going to take investment. I'll stop. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Erin, for keeping the time and for sharing your great insights. And for